Gang, we're having a heck of a time out there on that Stay Trashy tour. Come mm-hmm. out and see the boys. Little stand-up comedy, plus we play AYG with the crowd. It's a fun, fun time. Yeah, we got a bunch of cities. First up, we're going to Phoenix. Uh, Denver, second show out of there. Then Ooh. we're going to Salt Lake City, Los Angeles, San Diego, second show out of there. Yeah. Then we're taking it back east. Washington, D.C., Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Toronto, second show out of there. Then we're going to Pontiac, Michigan, Chicago, Illinois, Third show added there. Nice. Then we're going to Minneapolis, Minnesota, Madison, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Sacramento, San Francisco, San Jose, and then wrapping it up in Philly around Christmas time, baby. Get those tickets. We'll see you there. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that if they're good to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. Mm-hmm. She's down in the basement pumping a little iron. Okay. Yeah, she got the incline bench, the bow flex, the whole nine yards. She's really getting it together down there. All right. Hell of a grip on that broad. <laughs> okay. Uh, My co-host is coming at you from right next to <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> She's down there? She's down there in the basement. In Where the basement. are we? We're in the addition We're in the addition out oh! back, baby. I forgot which way I came in. <laughs> I apologize. You see the goddamn screen door there, don't you? <laughs> Looking at the neighbors over there. So why is there so much humidity and, mil- and mildew down here? We're we still- had that at it. Ah! <laughs> Keep the feel going, baby. Put a humidifier (laughs) in. Don't forget where you came from, Daddy. Humidify with a piece of bread in there. (laughs) Get the spores going. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He's the salt in the summer, baby. <laughs> Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. What up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As wow, always, kid. Well, as always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Twitter up. Cooking. Yeah. And obviously, the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com slash are you garbage. Check it out, gang. It's a fucking party over there. Yes, it is. How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the old magic man there, Toby T-Bone McMullen. Hey, what's up, boys? What up, Dude, I love Giannis so much. Yeah. He's a guy who's never walked into a room without a gripe ready to sure. fire. He comes, <laughs> in. he comes in ready to go. Yeah, I'm loaded, locked and loaded. No blanks, hollow points. This, guy, this guy's just up in a country thinking. Just, fucking. just letting the mind go. Yanni, you know, Yanni headshots. <laughs> you know, that's the problem. Yeah, You, you got, just nailed the problem. You're just up there. I'm not used to the, <laughs> to the congestion down here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So when you're up in the country, you know, yeah, you sit around, you, 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 then you start tapping the rifle against the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you're peeking out the blinds. Yeah. Just mind- looking for trouble. <laughs> Your mind's got too much time. I know. And then you come down here, you encounter just a little bit of recalcitrant. A little, little pushback, a little congestion. <laughs> and you're ready start to go to uh-huh. Yeah. You're reaching for the nine millimeter on the seat. <laughs> you start you start drawing up plants. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because you got you to, you know, you have to stalk out what you're going to do How- first. Oh, yeah, you got to make your moves, yeah. Daddy. I'm not a rampage type of guy. I'm a, <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm looking for. Uh, you're, you're more from the bell tower. I'm more of a murder one guy. I thought it out. <laughs> this is plans. Methodical. They're gonna look through my uh, computer. They're gonna find stuff. Mm-hmm. They're gonna find weeks and weeks of plans. Yeah. Premeditated Pappas. Yeah, over I'm here. Gonna, he's got mens rea over I'm here. I'm gonna have maps out with highlighted areas. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of time on my hands <laughs> out there in the country. Gang, Th- thanks to the mother-in-law. Sure. The yes. mother-in-law takes good care of you. Of the two kids, so that gives me plenty of time to sit around and think about how I might blow shit off. Stew it up. <laughs> Stew it up, man. Let's get this guy a hobby. I bet you every, <laughs> every school shooter. Pick up golf or something, dude. <laughs> had a mother-in-law. Had <laughs> somebody. Taking care, some care of the baby. Taking care of the essentials. Sure. <laughs> Making some dolmatis and Absolutely. watching the kid. Yeah, yeah. Gang, we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly special guest back with us again today. He is fucking family at this point. Oh, yeah. Wanted to have him over to the fucking new edition. Check the joint out a little bit. Uh, he is the host of the Giannis Papas Hour. He has an amazing special on YouTube right now that's creeping on a million. Ooh, get it there, gang. And here's the big news. 
He's going to be at the Paramount Theater in Long Island August 17th. Do yourself a favor. Grab some tickets because the word on the street out there is it's almost gone. It's almost gone. Yeah. yeah. Give it up for Giannis Papas, everybody. Thank you. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, buddy. Papito. Good to be back at Denny's. Johnny Papito. <laughs> Good to see you boys. Uh -huh. Jammed up on the come in, huh, kid? Jammed up. Guy comes in an hour late. Yeah. And with he's hit me with problem after problem. His <laughs> keys, his phone, his car, parking. There's nothing worse than being late when you could have not been late. Yeah. Sure, I did that yesterday. Yeah, I like to save those for when I'm really late, but when I should have been here on time, uh -huh. but I got jammed up because of an unexpected faux pas. Faux uh pas. -huh. That's the think about I, I that also with think, the Tesla? I also think you got out of the house a little late. Because I got a text, what's the new address? <laughs> <laughs> and the address was right above the text you sent me. I'm like, he's... If he's just getting in the car now, this is bad. I saw that. I couldn't remember where the where uh, Tootie's old basement was. The base, the base. She's downstairs. Same address. Yeah. So I was like, is that the same address where it was before? But you guys were a little farther up in Philly. Yeah. Yeah. Or wherever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Cherry Hill. He always paints us in South Jersey. I ain't South Jersey. <laughs> so I had it wrong. I but not too. The problem was I was coming from Long Island because I'm Island. I'm at the in laws. So I don't think I. Plan that traffic. Yanni's right. doing sleepaway camp. But yeah. I actually got here 112. So I was only 12 minutes late. I pulled it right into a underground parking uh, facility. Mm -hmm. And that's the worst part when you have a Tesla and you don't have the backup key. You pull it all the way down and under. There's cars behind you. And then you're like, oh, God, I didn't. Because you need to have the spare key in order to give. Because you're parking. I didn't know this. He you're, didn't think about this, you're, Musk. You're he's, doing, he's doing too much. He's doing too much. This is something he's got to add on. It's the I forgot my spare key. I need to park my car because I'm running late for a podcast. <laughs> you, Software update. You think they're ever in a rocket? Like, who's got the keys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I left the spare at the house. I had my phone. They're using their iPhone to turn it on. <laughs> what the fuck? So then it becomes this funny thing where you're like, here, I'll leave my phone. And they're like, no, no, no. They, act they don't like, want the phone. They're like, no, 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 no. no. That's a whole bunch of problems. Like it's plutonium. Yeah, like, yeah. And I'm like, look, I trust you. What are you going to do? You work at the, you're not going to, it's locked. You're not going to look through it. Take the phone. Uh huh. And they're like, no. And then they got to speak to the manager. So then I'm waiting for the manager. Then the manager comes out. He has the same reaction. He's going, no, 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 no. <laughs> so then I'm like, how do I get out of here now? Oh, sure, yeah, you're because you're. Backed in there. I'm, as you would call it, jammed up. Kids are jammed up. I'm jam fucked up. They abandon you too down there. Yeah. When you're not giving them the business, they don't give a fuck. They could care less. Figure it out. They just go, yeah, you know, like you got to go. And so then you got to like, you know, I got to do like a hundred turns mm -hmm. to try to turn around and <laughs> and go the way I came in where there's all these cars coming in. Yanni's having a day. I'm having a day. <laughs> and I just came down off of five milligrams of Lexapro. Today is the day it kicks in where there's no more, nothing. It's in my, out of the system? It's out of the system. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah. Yanni's, Yanni's raw dogging us right now. Yeah, yeah. Five milligrams is nothing, though. It's like, what's the point? You know? Okay. Either do 20. I don't know. It seems like there is a point. Uh, I guess there is, but it's like, I didn't feel anything. So I said to that, I was like, I don't know. He was like, yeah, you could just, whenever they say you don't have to taper off, it's not enough because usually you got to sure, yeah. step it down. You got to wean. You got to wean. Is, it's the smallest. That's, so he's like, ju he's just, just like cold turkey. Yeah. Yeah. You got to wean. You know what's working if you got to wean yeah. a little bit. Yeah. What are you doing out in uh, out, out Long Island? They got the new baby. We got the new baby. So you go out there and post up for the couple months. How does that work? Uh, no, not a couple months. That, uh, but for a week. I think if it was up to my uh, wife and my in-laws, it would be a couple months. Mm -hmm. Okay. They want us out there on the island. Yeah. People from the island don't want you leaving the island. Nah, they, they like don't want it out that. There. No, they don't like that at all. Mm -hmm. They don't like that. They, uh, you know, we we live what, an hour, fifteen minutes uh -huh. away, and they treat it. My in laws treat it like we live in Denver. Like they're you're on like, an excursion. They're like they're like they live up there and they're in Canada. Mm -hmm. I thought she went up there and 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 stayed up there with you guys. I thought that's kind of how the system that. works. Yeah, we she's up there with us, but she's she's nervous. She's from she's off of Long Island. Mm -hmm. so she, my mother in law's nervous. She doesn't know what kind of Democrats could bite her. <laughs> she, you know, she's from Long Island. You know, sure. MS-13 could crawl in a window. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't like MS-13. Yeah. In the burbs, they do not like MS-13. Especially Long Island. They're paranoid of MS-13. Mm -hmm. I really feel like we should get together as podcasts and market like maybe an MS-13 spray. Okay. Like I, a bear spray? <laughs> yeah. I think we could convince Long Island people to buy sure. it. Sure. Just go like, in on it. Just spray it outside your house. Just spray you, the perimeter <laughs> every every 24 hours. It just keeps Democrats, gangs, <laughs> liberals away. Everybody's out. And they'll, they, like I, a bug zapper <laughs> in the front yard. <laughs> yeah. How are the accommodations out there? You got a guest room, I presume. They got a nice spread? Dude, it's nice. 
They live out there. They got like a big house, I presume. Big You're not house. in like your girl's old room, like from high school. No, we are. Yeah, we are. Is it decorated like but, that? No, but she could know because she's like her dad's in sync posters and shit <laughs> like that. In there. No, she yeah, but for a while she still had her college. Her college co- collage up, oh, you know the college collage, sure. the oh, yeah. suburban a couple white- of lookers yeah. on that yeah. probably oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to spring break. <laughs> couple of the pics go yeah. missing. <laughs> yeah, you know she, it's a sorority collage. I know I'm Man. very familiar. You're familiar with yeah. that. those are all right. Yeah, yeah, those are nice. Good looking girls always had the same room. They got the same room. It was always awesome. And there's always a family collage. Yeah. Sure. And then there's a, a couple of who is sorority yeah. collage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Always they I feel like they always had the down comforters before anybody else. Always had a da- nice down comforter. The room smelled good. Yeah. Ooh, the fucking yeah. best. Yeah, yeah. And a kind of an ornate bed. Mm-hmm. Like overly ornate sure. bed. Yeah. You know, that's a very, I think, long out. Like my wife is half Italian, half Greek, but she grew up around Jews, so she... She's Jewified. Sure. It's like you're in Long Island. It just you're, it's out there. It gets on you. Mm-hmm. You know you. She might. She had a sweet six. Like if you're a dad, and you have a girl in Long Island, I I would imagine it feels similar to being a Spartan dad back in the day. Okay. And having a girl, you're like you kind of want to chuck it into a river and try again. <laughs> Because you know the liability. Uh, you well, you're on the hook for a sweet sixteen. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, a uh, a fifty thousand dollar wedding. Uh-huh. Sure. Uh, a bat mitzvah, probably. Uh-huh. Sure. And a nose job. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's four things you're gonna pay for. Sure. You're three hundred k in the yeah. hole as soon as you see the fucking <laughs> vagina. Uh huh. I grew up with a lot of Jew. I grew up with a, a lot of Jewish girls, and at at some point they always had like it would deviate septum or something. And while they were in there, yeah, they would do a little. You well, know, that's how they lied about it. it. Yeah, yeah. Do a little work. A little deviate, clean up. Yeah. Which I'm with. Do it. One hundred percent. Yeah. While you're in there, they, it's sort of a while you're in there uh, sure. operation. Like I had the deviated septum, so while they were in there, they you know they they straightened them out. Yeah, they took off half of this beak. Yeah. We talk I about it all the it. time. We uh, I lo- we love a bat mitzvah and a bar mitzvah. They were yeah. always the fucking best. Great. It was like a fucking wedding man it was yeah. fucking fantastic yeah it's a wedding for 13 year olds man yeah. I, 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 <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> really open is. bar a dj <laughs> let's go yeah. it really is sort of like it feels, like, bon Jovi. It feels like an adult event for 13 year olds oh, oh, they're all everybody's in like bad suits and shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's drinking alcohol uh-huh. yeah I've been to so many, like, I know the beginning of the Baruch HaRatoi Nolcheinu Melech Malam Alosheinu. Yeah. There you go. And I am not a Jew. Yeah. Yeah. That's but. how you get the good bagels. <laughs> That's how you get them. <laughs> By the way, bagels in Long Island on point. Oh, sure. on point. That's why those people, you know, don't want to leave there. That's why they, they're they scared of everybody else, because uh, they have everything there. They have uh, it's self-contained. Great, safe, great food, comfort, cul-de-sacs. Are they anywhere near the beach or no? They got beaches out there. <laughs> South Shore, North Shore. Sure, yeah. they go. Uh, they go north. You go to oh, South. I don't know. No North to the Hamptons. Mm-hmm. There, sure. They got it's everything's there. I Do know. you guys have a favorite sure. spot you'll go to as a family oh, out there? Oh, we got a La Piancha. <laughs> get pizza down there. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Well, Timmy D's a big proponent of some of the best foods on Long Island. Yeah. It's true, and you know, yeah, yeah he's he's a. Nobody samples like he does. Ooh, Timmy D knows his way around a menu. He knows what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, man. he's a fucking master at yeah. it. Yeah, you got. I think you, you and him could have a fucking. Oh, that would be a that. war, dude. It's my dream. Go out yeah. to dinner with Timmy we, D. Oh, yeah. We've gone out. We've we, we had we, lunch with him. We yeah. had lunch with him, and I've never seen Foley put his tail between his legs, <laughs> sat back, and said, "Yes, sir, Mister Dylan. Whatever you want me to have, man. I'll have." He or I do the same thing when I go oh, and he eat goes. with him. He I, goes. I let him order the stuff. Oh, it's the best. Yeah, it's the best of both worlds because you feel like you're a little kid with your uncle or something. Yeah, that. he's got the best, right? Because he's uh, he's definitely you can tell he likes to eat. He does love he to know, eat. and he knows, knows food. He good knows food. food through and through, and he knows food, and he's got class. Be- that's the gay part. So he's, he's like, got, yeah. classy. you got a little bit of all the but world. But he's got a lot of Long Island in him. A lot he's of a Island. brash man. Lo- loves the shared apps. Yeah. Apps for the table. He gets asked for the table. Yeah, but he wants Takes you to live good. He wants you to eat good. Yeah, he's a gentleman. Yeah, he's a he's a Long Island kind of guy. Yeah. So that's he he's got a little element of criminality in him. That's Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> They're all a little crooked. Sure. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. started as a criminal. I mean, he was selling he was selling mortgages. Yeah. I mean, he would sell at, at this place. <laughs> yeah. Put his upside down on yeah. a mortgage from Timmy D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she had to refinance. <laughs> She's jammed up. <laughs> Shout out to Timmy D, baby. Uh, Holy shit. So is it chaotic with the new baby? It's chaotic, man. It is. Yeah, it's chaotic. Where, where are your responsibilities falling? How much? I want to. How much? Are shit? you hands on? I'm. I'm. I'm off the bench. 
Okay. I'm six man of the year. Yeah. That's why I asked you how long you're out there with the in-laws, because I would imagine <laughs> you got to bring tons of shit with you. Dude. It's yeah. got to be nuts. It's true. When you pack with two kids. Do they have a crib out there already? Like, do they have some of that shit? We've doubled up. Nice. We've doubled up. Nice. Yeah. At first, it's like pack the stroller. Then you realize you got the dog. You got the stroller. You got to take one or the other. Because you brought the dog, too? The dog's got to come. I can't leave him. <laughs> her. The dogs can't operate on her own. Yeah. For do a they week. have a dog out there, too? Uh, passed, her dog passed away. Oh. My, uh, my mother-in-law's uh, dog passed away. It's a great... It's... it's uh, she was... Uh, so my mother-in-law had one of those mini... Um, Pomeranian something? Cockapoo. That's no, a bird, like a isn't it? Mini poodle, whatever. They're tiny. I mean, okay. tiny. T- like, so small... They have, you know, they're like the Joe Pesci of dogs. Okay. Like, you know, like, like yappers. They yap. They see, they're all Joe Pesci. Real good with a baseball bat. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a toothpick in its mouth. <laughs> they have no idea. They're all like got sure. Napoleonic complexes. Mm-hmm. Sure. Because they're not supposed to be that small. Humans yeah. bred these things. These things got the 99.6% DNA uh, the same as a wolf. A wolf and it and ain't it's there, rolling yeah. around and it doesn't know it's that small. So it was an annoying dog that would bark and bark and bark. And every time my first baby would would cry, this is starting to sound like an inside job. If I'm, <laughs> it could have been. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking thing wouldn't shut up. I got the baby. So here's the good part. So the my my mother in law. They found her in the marsh. <laughs> <laughs> With a Tesla key. <laughs> I swear it wasn't me. So my mother in law feeds it too much. So it was like it looked like a tick, like a swollen tick. This dog, <laughs> oh, man, the dog was fat. You got away oh, with words. Yeah. Chub, chub. Swollen tick. So she was. She would take it to the vet. The vet would be like, "Hey, the heart's enlarged." It's too obese, whatever. She would keep feeding it. I mean, she would put like a uh, like a bowl of tuna in the, the the dog's bed, and the dog could barely get up and just put his head in the bowl oh, and like God. eat while it was laying down. I've done that. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Watching Sopranos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, our next door neighbor uh, has a cat, outdoor cat. So the outdoor cat, the dog went and followed the outdoor cat, and the outdoor cat. Oh. Took the eye out of oh, the mini dog. Shit. Yeah, and um, so we started putting antibiotics in the little little guy, little girl's thing, uh-huh. you know. And then she just died. Just croaked. she. Uh, yeah, I woke up in the morning, and the mother-in-law was like, you know, frantic, holding the body. I knew that. I knew that it, she had the dog had passed. Mm-hmm. But we went through the formalities. I was like, take it to the vet. Did you? Was she? Were you doing that? Oh, you were doing that you, for her? I, I thought you meant you her. saw it the night before. And just didn't say anything. <laughs> I put. I chloroformed it. <laughs> <laughs> No, but so she, you knew, and you were like just keeping up appearances for that's a good guy. That's a good move. Well, she came out. Yeah, he starts CPR. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> I'm gonna take this to the vet. I'm taking this to the vet. Where's the shovel at, by the way? <laughs> I'm gonna stop and get bagels on the way. Anybody want anything? Comes, comes back with a dozen of everything. <laughs> Look, they did all they could. It's like I got the scale and cream cheese. <laughs> like. A little cream cheese on his chin. <laughs> we did all we could. <laughs> So it's like four uh, forty five in the morning and the dog's not dead. She she's Is like, this recently? This was recently. A couple this was right before my second kid was Jeez, born. Okay. Very recent. Right. You're staying out there. I'm she, no, we're at we're at my house. Okay, so, so they brought next the door dog neighbors, up. outdoor cat. Gotcha. Oh, got the shit. eye. She got the eye. So the eye, she was like blind in one eye. So we're putting drops in it. We're giving her the antibiotics. For a tiny little dog, that's probably a lot of antibiotic to take. She's already got a swollen heart. She's obese. I don't think the I scratch killed the cat, mm-hmm. but you know the Lord works in mysterious sure. ways. Sure, didn't help. Yeah, it didn't open help. the door. Yeah, it opened the door, and um, so that morning it was like five in the morning. She's like, I, I think so. she's breathing heavy. I think something's wrong, and then she comes running back, and she's like, I think I think the dog's dead. The dog had shit all over her. So she had shit all over her. And she's then, freaking out. She's freaking out. Oh, I'm like, drive. Sucks. I knew the dog was gone because I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see the dog's tongue with it. Yeah, oh, it was gone. But you got to go take it. Yeah, you know. I'll take it. So she's taking the dog, uh, and then uh, I run back, put a shirt on, and then I, I get to the vet, and she's not there. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I th- she, I, Went to the wrong vet? I think she might have got lost. So I uh-huh. call her up, and she's like, I'm lost. Uh-huh. And I'm like, yeah, at this point, at I, this, yeah. yeah. So then Yikes. at this point, I, you can't just say, hey, we let, tried. let's pull over to the side of the road and find. let's bury, bury it. it. Yeah. So what would you do with the, where, where's said dog now? She had drive put in, I think, on something that was a street. So it was the same name. Gotcha. I think she put in drive instead of street. So she just was late. So I was there waiting for her. She came with the dog. And then you get there. We got there. And they're, they're, they're all like, you know, getting ready in the morning. And they're like, do you want us to resuscitate? 
And I look, there was a pause moment. There was that moment. And what are we doing here? Where we both know, like, I think she, she's she's passed on. Mm -hmm. But you got to say yes. It's been 45 minutes. Yeah, you're at that point, you're trying to get into heaven or whatever. You just can't. I think it was a social pressure that she had with me and I had with her. Mm -hmm. It's like, we both know that the little poor dog is dead. Sure. But we got, you know, yeah, go pump its stomach Try. a few times. Yeah, throw a tube in there, even though it's going to cost me 350 <laughs> <laughs> And then they put you in the... Now, uh, are you paying a bill on that? I tried. I tried to pick it up. <laughs> Let's split it. I tried. I tried to pick it up. I pulled out my card. I was uh -huh. like, this this death's on me. Sure. But she's like, it's my dog. She put it down. And then they put you in the bereavement room. Um, I've never been through this. They put you in the bereavement room at the vet. Okay. Really? I didn't know they had one of those. They got a it's a separate room. No kidding. So it's not the waiting room. Because I guess they figured that out. Like, if your dog's dead, they don't want to just throw you in. With yeah, the dog. my vet in Washington that, that, Heights don't have that. You're in and <laughs> really? out. The oh yeah, but yeah. also that's bad for business. They don't want you fucking sure. bawling your eyes out in the lobby. That's Go right. The back. Go out the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why I think they got the. Put separate a smile room. on your face. Keep up appearances. <laughs> Plus, they don't want you feeling bad. We just bad. signed a new lease here. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you know, your dog's dead. You see another guy, guy who's got his dog in for an ear infection. Sure. It's like you want to be in the dead room. Now that makes oh, sense. Man. I yeah. never thought of that. Nice in there. Real nice in there. I just they have a spread. Anything? They got a lot of photos of dead dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no spread. Would have been nice if they had some fucking carrot sticks. Something. And something. Charcuterie board. Yeah, maybe a little hummus. <laughs> something. Little I'm Annie. grieving. <laughs> little any any pasta, huh? Yeah. A little mussels red for the for the boys. Well, you know, look, she lived a good life. Uh, grab a <laughs> just <laughs> crunch the snap sour. into a celery stick. <laughs> Kit, what do you know about sheath? Love that sheath, baby. Yeah, best underwear in the biz over there at sheath. You get to tuck your balls and your wiener in little separate pockets. I don't have to put them in my butt crack anymore. Keep the hot side hot and the cool Ooh, side cool, matchy, baby. Matchy. You can't stay in the AC all summer, gang. You got to go out there. Everybody, mm -hmm. you're, we're out there. We're out there. We're sweating. Barbecues, running to work. Do yourself a favor with sheath underwear. You get a little comfort down there. It's real nice. And they're dabbling in, in other products, too. Oh, they got everything cooking. Yeah. Yeah. I got T-shirts. My wife's got a set. Take a run at her. Like going after a young gymnast. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, I got a pouch for your dick and your balls. Now, my wife don't use that one. Uh, you'll be comfortable no matter what the weather. Available in tons of cool patterns. Colors. Sheath helps you fit. Cheap helps you look and feel great, baby. I've been saying it for years. They were one of the first sponsors. Shout out to Robert Pattinson and the and the goddamn sheet department. I think even over. before they were sponsors, we were trying to get our hands on a pair. Oh yeah, everybody's wearing They're my those fancy things. pants underwear. Uh, uh, Sheath also has breezy sports bras and bikini briefs and boy shorts for the ladies there you go. or for me on a Tootsie mm -hmm. weekend. So you don't have to suffer this summer. Uh, go to sheathunderwear.com. Use code garbage to get 20% off your first order. Plus Sheath un Sheath's underwear's 100% money back guarantee. There you go. That's sheathunderwear.com. Promo code garbage. Get Sheath underwear. Support the show. Support your balls. Do it, gang. Okay, let's talk about Fume. Shout out to the good folks over there at Fume. Gang, when you're talking about breaking habits... Going cold turkey sucks. Stinks. Your brain is used to living one way, mm -hmm. and changing everything all at once is a huge shock for the system. If you're trying to change that hand-to-mouth habit, make the transition easy on yourself with Fume. Yeah. Fume is an innovative, award-nominated device. No electronics, no vapes, no harmful chemicals, just all naturally flavored air yeah it's uh fantastic it's easy peasy it's kind of it's uh it, they sent it to me they first they've been a supporter for a long time as well yeah the little boom you pop it in there easy peasy uh it, it's the sa satiation of the hand to mouth it, you know, your little fingers are fidgeting sure it takes care of that it even comes with adjustable airflow dial movable parts magnets for the fidgeting it's fantastic it's the perfect fix uh to anxiety that comes up when you're trying to break a bad habit Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard. It ain't fun, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and can be fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating uh, humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use the code GARBAGE to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today, gang. That's tryfume, F-U-M, dot com. Use code GARBAGE to save an additional 10% off your order today. Do it, gang. Check them out. Now back to the show. Back to the show. Holy shit. Yeah, what is this? Ranch or yeah, blue cheese? Nice little spread. <laughs> yeah. It's got uh, some uh, coconut shrimp. Would have been nice. Uh, that's a bummer, man. I'm sure she was, she was upset. She was upset. But, you know, uh, there was this thing where it's like having the new baby, and then this dog was a lot. So it was like, 
Sometimes the Lord just goes. Works in I, mysterious ways. I think that's the way she looked at Cleared it. Cleared the plate for you. And she's got the new baby to shower with affection and now all that kind of dad. stuff. Yeah, and so like I said, that dog was in tough shape as it was. And the cat, I think the cat's uh, solid. Any solid. bad blood with the neighbors? With the No, they were great about it. Yeah. They were great about it. Yeah, they were really great. They apologized, uh, you know, but it wasn't their fault because cause, uh, her dog followed the cat. Looking on for trouble. Their property, kind of mm -hmm. looking for trouble, and the cat. Kind of was like, you know, fuck around, find out. Hmm. Kind of sure. Thing. Yeah. Man. You got any beef with any neighbors right now? No, we're all set. Everybody's Everything's all good. good. Okay. That would, that would be tough. Sure. When you live in a small community, if you have beef, that throws the whole thing off. Yeah. Yeah. Turns into Deadwood. Yeah, that's tough. Because it's amazing. It's ironic because when you live in the city, you have so many more neighbors. Yeah. But you don't know any of them. No one knows anybody. I mean, I, before this, I lived in an apartment building. I couldn't tell you one person who lived in my apartment. Now I never see anybody. No. Yeah, and anybody. Then, well, yeah. now I have a thing. I I, I like uh, it that way too. Uh, I, I'm purchasing a home and a home. I'm going home. And uh, you tell me you got a home. Do you go introduce yourself to the neighbors, or should I wait for them to come to me? It's, I. Uh, what did you do? Because you're an animal. For, you're from. You're a Brooklyn piece of trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was. Uh, <laughs> it's an or with me. I kept it organic. Brings over a half a yeah. pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple slices left. I got it in the city. You can't get shit out of here. <laughs> just coming with a bagel and just cracking it in half. Go, friends? Oh, you want to be friends? Is how we, you, you didn't everybody? go around. You let it, you let it happen you let them organically. Come to you? Yeah, you okay. got, I did it naturally. Like, you know, if like a ball from their dog came on my lawn, we go meet in the middle. Hey, hey how are you? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, Keep yeah. Keep that fucking mud off my lawn. Yeah. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> Piece of shit. But I feel like every area has one maniac. Yeah. Because there's a guy sure. who lives adjacent on a block, <laughs> and, like, everyone talks about him. Mm -hmm. And he's, like, a maniac. Like, if your dog's on his front lawn, he yells at kids. There's always one. Always sure. one. Fun. Why? He put cameras on the tree like he built a thing. So uh, he built a thing, juts out from his property. To get the angles. He's got all the angles of cars. Coming, coming and going. Coming and going. Sounds like my kind of guy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, honestly, okay. yeah, I want to hang Yeah, he's going to wire the fucking trees down there. <laughs> fucking Dude, claymores. I'm fucking, oh, there's going to be a perimeter. <laughs> oh, for sure, perimeter. Yeah, I got cameras, too. You got you to get, you gotta get cameras. They're available to get. Yeah. They're the gateway drug to voting Republican. <laughs> <laughs> you get your first ring camera, that's how it starts. <laughs> you start checking the app. You're like, yeah, what's surveillance. that? Surveillance. Yeah, Something yeah, move. Yeah, All next. it takes is one guy trying to steal your Amazon <laughs> packages. That's it. That's it. It's right over. across the board. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, you don't do that. No, that's let that happen. What? You don't go around fucking knocking on. I'm not. <laughs> no, well, my wife asked me, and I said I don't know. I had lived in the burbs, uh, you know, outside of Philly, to then here. Now I don't know. You know, like you said, you don't introduce yourself in in the in your building. People uh, don't like my cousin. Uh, they're they're older when they they just sold their house and and they retired and shit. But I remember them telling me uh, when they were selling the house, just asking him about the neighbors and stuff. He's like, when we moved in. Well, you know, we just moved in. We're a young couple, a couple of kids. We walk over to the uh, to the neighbor because he was out in his front yard, like what you're saying. Hey, I just want you to know we're so-and-so. We just moved in. And the guy was like, listen, I don't want to know you. We, I don't wow. want to be involved and just walked away. Wow. Yeah. People that, are weird like that. That's weird. That would... That would make me feel uncomfortable for the rest of the time I lived there. hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got to keep your eye on that dude. Yeah. That's the guy. That's probably the one guy in the area right but, there. But then you know what? He said something happened years later. Like there was a fire or something like that. That guy fucking came over and helped him out. Or Johnny something. on a spot. Yeah, just didn't want any any social interaction. I kind of get it's like you don't want the I don't want your business. You my business. Familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah, but maybe a uh, hello. You know. Yeah. Hey, how sure. you doing? Yeah. This got delivered to my house. This is your water bill. Sorry. You, I feel like you could communicate that with energy. You don't have to come out and say it. Sure. You, you could know? just yes. You could yeah. say hi at the intro and in the next one. Just give the the nod. The nod. The neighbor nod. Don't engage as much. Yeah. I love the neighbor nod. When I'm down at my mom's walking the dog, how you doing? everybody drives by. Nice. I don't get the wave. I'm fucking pissed. Yeah. What is that wave thing that everyone waves? Let's everybody know we're all yeah. we're you know we're all right. Yeah. Yeah. You there know? is a different vibe in the burbs with that. Yeah. It really is. It's, it's a nice. fucking dude. It's yeah. the last stand of America out there. It I'm is right. You. Yeah. It's fucking. Whew, it's yeah. All right. You look good, by the way. Have you dropped a few? Dropped a couple. I can see. Kid's yeah. doing good. You look really good. Thanks. Yeah. A little bit of it's the shirt. The shirt fits, a little, fits, fits <laughs> me just, good. True, I'm just buying bigger shirts. <laughs> <laughs> true classic, baby. I got one of those on right yeah, now. Big true right. classic yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah huge. You That's got, my goal. Again, they go up to 3X. I, I want to get into yeah, a true yeah, classic. Yeah. True classics help you hide stuff. I'm going to wait about another 20, 25 pounds, then I'm going to fucking... 
go out and get all new shit. Now, what are you doing? What are you? What's your some of the methods? Oh, 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 oh Zempic. Zempi. It works. It Don works, it. dude. He's yeah. dropping pounds. Yeah. I feel I feel nauseous a lot. <laughs> I feel sick to my stomach. And I, I feel... But he's doing great. I yeah. feel a little weird. But yeah, it just took away... Um, it just... Like, I love to... I eat emotionally. Right. So I love to Obvious. yeah sit down, Sopranos, right. get the penny all the vodka, get the garlic bread with the cheese. Yeah. I'll get a beef patty. I'll get two Dr. Peppers. Wow. Throw a cannoli on the back end of that. Yeah. I'm watching Sopranos. Yeah. If think? I saw you preparing that, I'd be like, "Who's? Who, when are they yeah. coming over? You was- <laughs> <laughs> are the in-laws stopping by? Yeah. Who's getting married? Is, uh- I got the sterno, the big, the big tray. Is this uh, Are You Garbage LLC party? Yeah. yeah. What is the rest coming? It would upset a lot of people if yeah. they saw you know, it's- me, me alone and my devices on my couch in my underwear, hunched over, <laughs> dropping like a little penny of vodka on my chest and just going, oop, with yeah, the fork and yeah. popping it in. I, uh, but that's know, all gone. Like wanting to do that, the sad. I tried to do it, right? Like a couple weeks ago, and it just wasn't there. I just wasn't there. I guys got fighting I, modern medicine. I yeah. got. I, yeah, dude, I was trying to push it. <laughs> His genetics are saying yeah. get fatter and fatter. Science is yeah. putting. I was about, about to throw the down. case study into yeah. a fucking whirlwind. You know what's interesting? I'm so plugged into you because mm-hmm. your energy is so positive and like big. Mm-hmm. When I walked in, I had a feeling something was up. Yeah, he, yeah. I gotta say, as a guy who spends all of his time yeah. with him, he's a he, li- he's moving better, baby. He's, he's got a little pep in his step. He's back in dungarees yeah, for crying yeah, out loud. Yeah. He's normally rolling in in fucking basketball shorts and orthopedic fucking Crocs. Back he's, on the jeans. He's also got a little deer in headlights kind of look to him. He's yeah. in a whole new world right now. Yeah, <laughs> you're because like you're not. I think it's a new thing. Yeah, you're in a new world now. It feels good. You're I like. Was, where's my appetite? This is the thing. Yeah, that that's I did. the weird part. I was. Yeah. I was. Uh, I'm a little little bit heavier than I got to I'm like five pounds away from what I was last summer when I was working out a lot and just really trying but now it's a it feel it, it's different that 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 uh like urge or weakness is gone that's yeah. really what it did it, right. it, it it like helped me the desire gave, to gave me eat, a fighting yeah. chance yeah. I, I think Level and, the you know, this could just be in my head but I, I think I think it works, man I know it for sure dude yeah, yeah for sure it it's all the rage for a reason because I don't eat yeah. uh all I have to do is get through one urge when I get home at night. Yeah. I want to get something to eat. And yeah. I'm not hungry. Right. But You're I want to get some, I want to get something to eat. And if I give that a minute, it goes away. Then I go to bed on an empty stomach. I wake up hungry, hop on the scale, down two, three pounds. Right. It's fucking awesome. Throw now, some eggs on, get some water in me. Now, are you feeling any of the emotions, uh, the emotions that you hide with eating? Are, are those starting to come out or no? Oh, I'm losing it. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. Got a bit of a dude on yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> bit of a dude yeah. I've been on the other end yeah. of. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of short, rude text messages <laughs> flying around. The anxiety is fucking, anxiety yeah. is pumping. Yeah, he's cooking. Yeah. Yeah, it's you know, you got, it's like do yeah, we keep pick- him alive, but then I'm gonna take my life because he's crazy. Yeah. I don't know what's. And happening. I didn't really think about that until you just said it. Yeah, that 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 might be what it is. But yeah, I've been fucking. Oh, it's a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna good. reach out to you a couple days ago. Call uh, you a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I like your Greek face, Giannis. Yeah, two podcasts ago when you were in here. I got a I bone start, to pick with you. I start yelling at you about the Ottoman. <laughs> fucking set me up with that fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you, you should reach out anytime. No, nah, just, just maybe. Oh, I don't know if I need you two talking. No, 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 I got, I'm fucking, this is a crazy sandwich. I'm we start doing a pod on the ring cam. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Doorstep to Doorstep with Giannis Papas and H. Foley. <laughs> Who's Are that your looking at you, Win? <laughs> yeah, no, I, just about um, maybe uh, maybe a, a little a little medicinal something, right? You know what I mean. You do therapy? Uh, I was, and then I've been poking around. I, yeah. I talked to somebody through uh, through BetterHelp a couple of times. Yeah. Um, nice but yeah, plug. I want. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue, and that's I'll, the type. That's always the, be closing. That's the type of plug they like. Yeah. Straight in the flow. No, no, Can you no. hand my dildo from Adam and Eve, please? <laughs> I'm sitting on one right now. No, no, yeah. So I reached out to that, did, did a little back and forth with that. I, I do want to find somebody. And I have been thinking maybe, you know, five milligrams of this, something of that, just to. Yeah. Because I get spurts where it's like, oh, fuck, that isn't real. And I was, you know, you were. I thought for sure, like, something was, this was going to be the thing, and then it's not, and you're like, fuck, I spent two days fucking obsessing over this. Right. And somebody, I can't remember who it was, it was some movie star, 
just did a thing where they were talking about like the you know the addict's mind that they like normal people will think of something worry about it they'll process it and then they'll move on in the attic that just keeps spinning and going around that's in right. circles until you make a move on fucking, you know, right. some booze sure, or whatever. That's right. You lack... Uh, the w- yeah, the wheel's been going real bad. Yeah, that's right. You need, th- you need therapy. Yeah, because... You, you're There's not no a- self-reflection of like, is this crazy? It's yeah. just like, this is the truth. Yeah. And you're like, I we're ask all him. on the outside. I ask him if it's crazy. Yeah, but I don't want to be your fucking therapist. You're, you're good. Gotta, no, you, I, but stop. You should be having office No, because then I yell at you and you get mad at me. Mad at me. You get mad at me. <laughs> no, what happens is he yells Take at me, and then, then I go and do the same thing to my mom. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I hit my hit Patty with a lot of when his When him quotes. and his mom get together, it's the Bureau of Crazy, I like <laughs> oh, to it's call wild, it. wild, man. They got the charts going. It's wild. Yeah, you got to get underneath all the way to the sadness. So that takes... <laughs> yeah. You got to put the hard hat on. You got to... got to dig. You got to get the drill. You got to get under there with some Isn't good therapy. Isn't there a shot for that we can do? Yeah, well, yeah. has got to come out with something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're fucking doing everything. It's crazy. When I went to the endocrinologist, she was like, you know, you're going to want to drink less. You're going to want to smoke less. It's good for your heart. It's They're good for this. They're using it for, like, addictions that. and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. great on the liver and kidneys, they say. Right, cause because it's a drug. You, just not so much that, but you don't. You're not thirsty, so you don't drink enough water oh. to fucking to to keep everything moving. Oh. That that adds to it. Yeah. yeah. I also think too the you know the the drug itself. Yeah. But it's just a hormone. Yeah, but it's probably a good opportunity now that you're not eating, you don't have an appetite to kind of peek under the hood, mm-hmm. take a peek and find out what it is you're masking with the eating because you're not eating because you're hungry. It's emotionally. I do the same thing. Yeah, yeah me too. And uh, yeah, and I have my like addictions. They're not like substance, but like I do things like obsessing. Then you peek under the hood. It's scary to peek under the hood, but eventually, you know, I've looked. You learn things, which are good. The hoods, the hoods, ugly. (sighs) The engine is. I don't know who built that engine, but it's icky. It's 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 wacky, do, isn't it? Yeah, Yeah. it's the subconscious and all that stuff. What the fuck? It's wild. It's a real. You almost, you you almost had a fucking real good thing going here. Yeah, it's you fucked it all up. Yeah, that's why I want to do this EDMR. You know? Yeah, I want a concert or something. What's that? (laughs) 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 You're back in your clubbing days, Johnny. Tiesto headline. You got to bring your own ecstasy and whistle. Fucking sandstorm. Yeah, I just show up to the uh, therapy session with like fucking a whistle and uh, do a Molly. (laughs) I'm like, I'm ready. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. My mom didn't hug me. She had Alzheimer's. I got shot in 2002. (laughs) 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 I always forget you got shot. Yeah, I got. I don't know that. I know you've Yanni told me a lot. I don't know that story. Yeah, I got. I, I took. I took some. I just got. So there's trauma from there. I got to deal with that because mm-hmm. the panic attack started there. You know, um, but I was also doing nine or eleven disaster relief social work at the same time. So that's when I started really the panic attack started. And this was like the internet was just started right early 2000s. So you couldn't just Google what is a panic attack. Sure. I had no idea what, what was going Dude, I on. I had my first one at twelve. Yeah. Didn't know. I thought the world was collapsing. It's, on we me. just we just talked about this yesterday. I've had acid reflux and anxiety since I was a little kid and didn't know it. Yeah, and it was fucking. When you have that shit as a kid, you feel like you're dying. It's nuts. Yeah. Fucking middle aged nine year old. Yeah. It's <laughs> nuts. I, I, that's <laughs> what fucking I, hard heartburn. I, I, nine I, year old kid with a Pepto Bismol, just <laughs> like an old detective. <laughs> <laughs> Kids like you got candy. Like fuck candy. I need a Pepto. Does your mom have a medicine cabinet? My ulcers yeah. acting up. It's so funny. I was just like, I got shot and full. It's like pepperoni really. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly Kamagool. what you're talking about. I had a similar experience. <laughs> hey, I feel you, man. one day. <laughs> if I have peppers before 12 o'clock, I'm real jammed That's up. That's my 9-11. That feels like you got shot, that burning. <laughs> talking about 9-11 and getting shot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you, know what a, you know what a thing is, man? My mom had the slow descent of Alzheimer's was like 15 years and it was it, it was a horror movie it's a nightmare yeah i talked about it on ryan sickler's podcast sure shout out to sickle and then like i just got all these messages um from people who are going through it and um it's it, it's just it's a nightmare it's like a frustrating nightmare like you can't you're helpless you don't know what sure. to do it just got my pop <sighs> he passed away in september Wow. Yeah. How long? Uh, wow. Your dad? Yeah. Your it, was grand- a f- it was a few years. He got Louis Body's disease. Your dad? Yeah. Wow. Sorry it, to hear that. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm with you. And his gra- his mom had it. Yeah. His mom had straight old school Alzheimer's. Yeah. 
And she would, eventually we tried to keep her in the house, but we had to put her in a nursing home. Yeah. And this is when I was a little kid, and we'd go out there every Sunday. Yeah. And I would fucking freak out every it's Sunday. It's a horror I movie. I fucking hated it. It's a horror movie. And she didn't know who we were, yeah. and she it was a fucking nightmare. It really is like living in a horror movie. Yeah. You see things, and you experience things, and you, you deal with them, things emotionally that you, you just don't know what to do with. You have mm. guilt. You have sadness. You have anger. You have frustration. You have all these emotions, and you don't know how to process all of it. So uh, Did your mom have it straight up the middle? Like she didn't know who you were and yeah, it just slowly it got started to that going? Point. Okay. Uh, no, it started. It's, it was worse because it was like a slow creep. So it started with like, you know, the same phone call over and over again, leaving the stove on, you know, go upstairs. I'd come home, like pot would be burning, like the mm-hmm. bottom of the pot, she'd be boiling eggs or whatever. It would just be down to the burnt yeah, eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoke everywhere. She has no idea. You know, mm-hmm. it's dangerous. Yeah. She started donating to the same charities over and over, and they just prey on it. She forgets, so they call ah, back and back. over and over. Thousands and thousands of dollars. Fucking Damn. scumbags. I mean, it just gets crazy. And then you try to, the, you know, she was a proud woman, so you try to move her, and she would, you know, you have to, when we moved her, me and my brother, we had to, like, drop her off and just leave. We had to ah. trick her and just walk out. The whole thing is you a mean nightmare. You mean you had to put her in a facility? Yeah, when you put her in the uh, memory care facility. and Because sundowning, at nighttime it gets worse. They call it sundown. Yeah, For yeah, some yeah. reason, when the sun goes down, they get more confused. Yeah. So I'd be on stage, and my phone would be buzzing, and then I'd, I'd get off. I knew who it was. So I'm, like, trying to be funny while this horror. Knowingly like something's happening. It's like background. a horror. Yeah, I, it's yeah, like, yeah. I don't know how I did it, right? And then I'd get off the stage, and there'd be, like, 100 messages from her, and it would be the same message of her panicking, telling me I had to come rescue her. She's trapped in a building, and it was just a nightmare. Jesus. So now that it's over, and now I have two kids, and then you have kids, it just, it all, com- it's like my, yeah. it's It'll all wake, coming up. Like, I'm going, whoa, yeah. I, like, I'm dealing, now that everything's okay, it's like my mind is going, you have to deal with this now. It didn't let me deal with it then, because then I wouldn't, You're have been, in it. I wouldn't have been able to function yeah, either. Yeah, yeah. So I think your brain just gives you a defense mechanism. It, Puts it, the walls up, goes, pr- deal with this, we'll, yeah. when you get through it, you'll figure it the fuck out. That's right. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, I got, I, you know, now I, I'm like, all right, I'm going to deal with all this. So therapy is good for that. You know, it's, it's, you just got to do it. You got to get to the bottom of what, what causes the anxiety, what causes you to do obsessive thinking and behavior, you know, to cover what, and get to the bottom of it, feel it, and then fucking move on. Yeah. Light up a Bernie. And yeah. move on with your fucking life. <laughs> I'll stick to the PBRs at night to shut the old machine down for a yeah. little bit. Well, the Irish, I think Sigmund Freud said, right? The only group impervious, that, impervious to, psycho, to psychoanalysis no, is the, the Irish. Dude, give yeah. me a six pack. That'll stop the thoughts. I'll get a good night's sleep. Wake up. Put my heart out. on go to work. He was all yacked up when he said that, though. Yeah. He was probably trying to impress some chick at a bar. Yeah. The Irish just have that look. They just got that look. They go... It just it's like bury a, it. It's like a it's like a Superman force field or like the Green Lantern. They just put up a fucking sure. a booze force field. <laughs> Last time I, saw, I saw him at the stand the, the, like two weeks ago, and he's like, "You like a pop, don't you?" Meanwhile, I'm like nine deep. I'm like, "Oh, Yanni, I love you. You're the best guy I ever met in my life." Takes a swing at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't look at my girl. I'm like, you just try to have a, like uh, you by yourself. You're like, how do you feel? And the, it just hits their force field and bounces off. Sure, yeah. it's yeah. not healthy. It's claimed you know it's claimed a lot of people in my family. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. it works. Right. Anybody in my dad, in my parents' generation, on my dad's side of the family, uh, how's everything going? Good. Everything's good. Yeah, yeah. It's good. You good. Got all right? Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Hit one of my uncles, his nickname was Fine. <laughs> because anytime you asked him, any, he'd be sitting there like this. Yeah. So how you doing? Fine. Yeah. It comes uh, in with like a, a wound on his head. How you doing? Fine. I'm mm-hmm. doing all right. Fine. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the Irish, baby. It's, a, it's it. a way to cope. I mean, if I was the Catholic yeah, it's Church, one way to go. I would target the Irish too. Sure. If I was yeah. going to do some bad things, they keep their head down. <laughs> I'd be like, these people ain't going to say nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're happy to be here. <laughs> Those parents are going to pretend like nothing's yeah. weird. Man, that... when their kid comes home with a twitch, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's beating everybody oh, up. Oh, just uh, it's, nothing's wrong. It's just Toby. Toby's not away. <laughs> that meeting Monday morning when yeah. they first figured that out, yeah. boys, I got a gold mine for us. <laughs> I just found a demo that we're gonna do real well with. The O'Briens keep their mouth shut. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Uh, what could have happened? He spent all night at Father McLaren's house. Yeah. They were praying. Mm-hmm. It must be something else. Yeah. They just fit, they just walk around it. Mm-hmm. They just go. 
Where's another route? Sure. Yeah. 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 And only yeah. You stick and move, baby. If it's the ways out, they're moving. just going alternative route. Alternative route. Avoid alternative route. Avoid alternative route. Alternative route. Alternative route. Priest touched you. Alternative route. Give me a beer. Alternative route. Uh, Take the bridge, not route. the tunnel. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh. Yeah. Hey, pain over the pain. Not the wrong, nothing wrong with a side road. I'll no. tell you that. No, 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 a little no, detour. No, no. Yeah, a little access way. <laughs> Go local. Yeah. You'll be all right. It's a couple 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, you got We sidestepped that a little bit. Uh, this one priest like took a shine to my brother when he was in, <laughs> when he was an altar boy. And I remember he took us out to dinner. And I remember that even as a little kid, I was like, what's this fucking guy's that one will do right? anything for chicken yeah. tenders. <laughs> yeah, dude. He, he took me, my brother, and my mom out to dinner one night. And I remember being in a restaurant like, it's, something's not cool here. That is and a they, good he, instinct. He, yeah. got, he got popped a couple years later. Yeah. Well, wow, you were that close. That close. He was, uh, he was, pr- he was considered, he was... He was doing reconnaissance. Yeah, he's checking yeah, it out. Yeah, trying to find out the family. Yeah, he wanted to you know see if I mean? the family was tight, if they would watch you. Yeah. Sort of like when a hawk circles when you have yeah. a tiny house dog out. <laughs> considering it. Make yeah. a move. Yeah, just, is this, wow, you got close. Yeah. You escaped. Yeah. Or maybe if you didn't. So you kids talk a lot? Yeah. Oh, you you know, <laughs> yeah. Is your parents, were, you know, do they ask you, well, what time you're coming home mm. and... <laughs> Who you dating? Are they interested in you? Who you yeah. dating? <laughs> Who you dating? <laughs> Do kids like to drink at all? <laughs> so a thing serious with Father Tom? What's happening? That's crazy. So he got popped, huh? Yeah, he got popped a few years later. God, it's so it's so everywhere. We yeah. got pulled. My brother and sister went to Catholic school. They're older. And then there was rumblings of relocation or whatever. So we got pulled out of... I never ended up going to Catholic school. And they, they got, my mom was like, yeah, we're not fucking doing this. Yeah. But still... Catholic, throw and throw. Yeah. They'll church every week. You yeah. were fine. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't. Little uggo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Butterface Ryan over there. This one there. doesn't wipe well. <laughs> <laughs> they still do pretty good. I mean, you know, like considering the amount, the amount, like the sheer amount of evidence against like how many they've caught doing it. Sure. The Catholic Church still doing good. You would think at some yeah. point somebody up there would be like, all right, we're fucking cracking down on this. Yeah. But they still keep fucking shifting they and moving. They keep shifting and moving. It's uh, crazy. Yeah, what's it's, the what's the angle there? I, I, money. Yeah, it's um I know, but wouldn't you wouldn't you make more money if you were like fucking all right, we're fucking taking care of this? I think you know what it is? Nah. I you know what I think it, you know why I think it because it's so certain, because like the evidence is out. Because they've admitted, because uh, it's all been caught, mm-hmm. and there's all this evidence, and they've paid all this money and retribution and legal fees or whatever. I don't think it has that juicy conspiracy thing to it. People like to be a part of figuring out uh, what's maybe. going on. Maybe there's no question. There's no it question. is what it is, and people go, ah, the people that are still part of the church wrap their head around it. How it makes it okay with them, and they go, that it's that, but it's not everybody. Right. Every. Every institution has bad problems. It is what it is. Right. Just focus on the right thing. Keep it moving. People like I'll to- see you at, I'll see you at mass. Yeah, there's nothing to talk about. Yeah. You know, there's no- I'm pretty sure every conversation I've ever had with you has ended here. Yeah. <laughs> I remember one time being at Verzi's barbecue. We sit down, we're like, what's up, Giannis? How you doing? He goes, that Catholic church sure is something, ain't it? I just can't believe, like, how nobody- It's just like- It's just like, you know. Yeah. But, you, you know, it's, it's tough to- because they're the church. So you go like, what are you going to do? My mom prays there. Yeah. Yeah. See, even you guys are tightening up as yeah. Catholics. Yeah. Get this guy <laughs> out of here. My listening to this. I'm going to have to talk to them about it. <laughs> They'll be like, what was your Greek friend talking about? Start throwing Oh, ho- he come down here. Yeah. Start throwing holy water on you. You let him say that stuff in Putty's house? <laughs> yeah, why don't Fuck you ask him what the Greeks were up to back in the day, yeah. huh? Yeah. Yeah. You, no guys are, you guys aren't saints over there. Let's no, start no the good. fucking crusades up no, again. No good. Yeah, You're talking to two knights at a Templar it's right no here. It's no good. It's no good. It's no good. I just, Mel Gibson did that documentary, though, and I, I just feel like going like, hey, Mel, I think you forgot to mention, because he's Catholic, you know? I don't oh, know the do- good, yeah. I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. check in the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> Mel, they're right behind you. <laughs> right there, Mel. <laughs> Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> he's like, they're in Hollywood. They're over there. like, yeah, 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 but also turn around. <laughs> Look. Don't look now, yeah. but there's one behind you. Right You're over here there. talking shit on Disney. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's an interesting thing. But, uh, you know, it, there's no speculation, so that's why people... That's that makes why, sense. It's not... Uh, yeah, There's yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. to figure out. No mm-hmm. sensation. Yeah, people like to get in there and figure it out and, you know, try to theorize what could be. 
When it, it just, just comes out, there's is. no sex in it. Yeah. Like, ah, it just it is what it is. That makes sense. Yeah. How did we get here? I don't remember. Yana. I'm Yanni. I just Yana. take it. I remember <laughs> asking you about restaurants <laughs> on Long Island. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm confessing. How's the veal scallop? Yeah, you guys, you guys run an open highway. I go like, no, let's go this way. Let's get all jammed up. I want to jam you guys Man. up. Johnny jam ups. <laughs> Man, I start opening up to you, talking about how I fucking dodged them on senior. With the skin of my teeth. They got to come up with an Ozempic for trauma. <laughs> that would be great if it takes away your, you know, the way it takes away your appetite. It just takes away the bad feeling. Jack I've always said that. Yeah. I've always said that they should be able to combine every. Illegal drug, a little coke, little heroin, little this, little that, and fucking put it in one pill where there's no 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 after effects. Yeah, that's what we need. Yeah. Well, you know what the the good thing is we we do that for people, which is great. That makes me feel good about what we do. People giving out laughs, laugh, giving out ha giving out laughs. You know, it makes them feel good. They get endorphins. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. And we do. Obviously, everybody with shows and comedians, you you get the messages of like you know, fuck, I've been going through this for whatever reason, family thing, loss. Just whatever, and it does make you you're like fuck. I, you know, we have so much fun calling him fat, whatever. But then you're like, oh shit, this really does mean a lot to people, and it's it's cool to be able to. You Meanwhile, know. you're up there fucking the phones ringing from your mom. You're dying yeah. on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> I was walking in a mall the other day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking laying on a track and a train's coming. Who's gonna make me laugh? Yeah, we're just a fucking. They hear you scream as you walk into the green room. Uh, but I, man. you know, I think it is nice for them too to hear like, "Hey, you know, you know, you're not alone." You no, know, of course. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I no. think people. I think that's the. I think that's where people, you know, really get low. I fall into that too. Where they think I'm the only one going through this. I'm alone. No, of course. Yeah, but you're not, and that's why it's nice to hear somebody talk about it. And you're like, "Oh, I'm not the only guy who fell. I'm not the only guy." Who lost a love? I'm not the only guy whose mom had Alzheimer's. I'm not the only guy who likes to emotionally eat. Whatever yeah, it is. No, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Of course. The dementia is a real fucking, a real bitch. Talk about a jam up. Real fucked up. Yeah, that, you're fucking jammed That's up. That's real fucked up. Yeah. That was the one thing that bothered me is that like the, you know, the life that my dad lived, everything that he did and all that stuff. And then to know that, uh, you know, in the end he forgot it all. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's fucking pain in the ass. And also, you don't know how to mourn the death because it's also a relief that he's not living that way anymore. Yeah, see, I didn't... Th- every really other other up. other people, you know, they said that, and I'm like, Dad, I didn't buy that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, right. I, I couldn't accept that. What do you mean? I couldn't accept... Well, he's at peace now and all that. Right, right. Fuck that shit. No. Yeah. <laughs> I want him here. No, I want to be mad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you licensed therapists say. Let me be crazy. There is like a, it is a tough thing to handle though. So there sure, is that of feeling of like when they go, you're like, you have that feeling of like, I don't have to deal with, I don't have to see that anymore. I have to deal with that. They don't have to live in that horror anymore. Uh-huh. There's confusing feelings. Of course. That get you jammed up. Sure. Now I'm taking your word and putting it into a horror movie. Yeah, no, It's a no, fun no. word. But it, it, um, it's got that, many uses. Yeah, but it's like every. But th- those are all normal feelings. It's like no, of course. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. you know, you gotta wa- work through them all and understand. Like, I just started kind of starting to try to talk about it on stage, and that's it. Is it was a horror it, horror movie? Yeah, it's, horror movies. It's, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. It's good uh, now. I, it's good to know that you, me, and you have the same jam up. Mm-hmm. We're both jammed up the same way. Yeah, and it's good to joke about that stuff. Yeah, you gotta, gotta joke about if it. it yeah. You know, yeah, that's yeah. just how we deal with fucking everything. It just makes it, it better. Yeah. And, uh, well, you also have to do some of the work. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or do drugs. Hey. You know. Welcome to the show. They don't not help. I'm yeah. Just, I'm just trying to turn it into a nice bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get three new minutes. I got to go back to Red Bank, New Jersey. I'm kidding. Yeah, no. I just, it's good to, it's good to talk about that stuff. And you're not alone. Whoever's going no, through it, really, you're yeah, not yeah, alone. Of course, of course. You know, you got a small penis. You're not the only one. You are not. You are not the only one. Tell you that right now. <laughs> Speak for yourself, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you got a big one, you're not alone you're either. You're not alone either. But I guarantee you. But you're you, a fucking jerk. Just <laughs> <laughs> and you're not better than me. <laughs> I think it would just be a nice social service if Justin Timberlake just came out and admitted that he's got a micro penis. You think he does? He's got to have one. Why? Because he's so good at everything? Exactly. The universe is balanced. There's got to be a micro penis. He's the one that gets you? Reynolds gets me. I love him. Which one? Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. yeah. He's not as good as He's all right, though. But he. Just have you ever thought about how many things Justin Timberlake is good at? Singing, dancing, acting, golfing, funny, golfing, funny. funny. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Golf, he's does a it all. Scratch golf. Yeah, he does it all. I mean, he can play hoops. He's probably a, good a shrewd hoop. businessman, yeah. handsome guy. The dancing, 
is the, is the one thing I'm most jealous of. When I was a little fat kid yeah. and the kid that could show up at the bar mitzvah or the wedding and just fucking have the 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 confidence to go out and fucking make those moves. Yeah. And I'm sitting there with the other older uncles drinking a decaf coffee, yeah. wanting to be out on the dance floor doing the worm. And my buddy Brad Kramer's out there fucking popping and locking. Yeah. That's to being able to dance. And to be cool. pretty cool. He had the turnaround of a career. He went from being, for a guy my age, I'm 36, I was like, you know, 13 or whatever when he NSYNC came out, which was the corniest of the corn. Like, they were cornballs. Right. Everybody fucking, they were the, You were a kid when that was happening. Yeah, but they were the punchline of every joke. Like who Oh, you guys it, hate it. Your, your squad hate hated it. it. Any I mean, teenager you ever, hated that. You've seen his, I love seeing his old photos. Oh, yeah. It's one of my, I can't. They go hard in a paint. I can't <laughs> wait for another one to drop. <laughs> I, dro- I, I, I got a couple on the hopper. I wait it. for it like a mixtape. <laughs> because <laughs> he is such fucking trash. <laughs> fucking, like, it the, fucking. The bowl cut kid. It, like, <laughs> it, gra- it comes out of the fucking phone i know it's like it smells up my room (laughs) i want to throw my phone out when i see it i think i've actually thrown my phone into like a pillow hard a few times going oh no kevin no i know you know as soon as he walked out of the room the photographer said to his assistant ew (laughs) i mean he's just i just fucking see him just he's cute there now look at him right there he's good that's before fucking he got that's before the heaters got old yeah that's before like uh that he had just started smoking i think in that picture (laughs) i was bumming him i wasn't buying packs i was bumming him then i mean you were philly trash that's all i know baby not you were trash 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 i mean fucking smoking a new port outside of a wawa Waiting for a guy to buy me a pack. Yeah. I give him five because they were like two seventy five back then. You give him five bucks, go, hey, you can almost get yourself a whole pack. Yeah. Just let me wet my beat. <laughs> You know what I mean? Let me get my heaters. Yeah. It's yeah. so funny. That's something like uh I don't know how to articulate it, but like now when I see like my nieces and nephews and cousins do like Philly kind of things, just when they say like, Yeah, I want to get a water ice or whatever. <laughs> or like but you know, my niece User for, dumb. My niece <laughs> gets set in my shore house my niece every for a, ten seconds. My niece for a birthday party, she wanted <laughs> she wanted wings and a hoagie tray. <laughs> That's what she wanted. <laughs> From pre the Dude, good stuff. Private school, yeah. sharpest, cutest little kid. Yeah, we get a hoagie tray. Yeah. I wanted wings. You see that, you're like, God damn. It is a trashy accent. Oh, it's, it's the worst. Tra- yeah, it's, it's the worst. <laughs> my my cousin hit me. Shout out to Mike, the guy who did the walls here. I was down uh, I was down the shore with him. We went out to a bar, and they were they have like there's, there's this bar. Shout out the number the number one tavern has a Tully nut, and they don't know what's in it. And uh, they're like eleven bucks or something a, a clip, you yeah. know. And you're supposed to do like one or two. It's like a kitschy thing. And he goes, "Yo, these are real pricey." <laughs> <laughs> Royce. We went down to we went down to we went down to Disney World. You know what I mean? Get out of this, all that stuff. We go to dinner, we come out and we're sitting there having a smoker. We had like one smoke left, and this couple like was walking by and heard us talking about cigarettes. Sure enough, she was fucking like South Jersey trash. Sicklersville she's, or something. Yeah, she's like, Don't go buy him over there or want twelve dollars a pack. Yeah. <laughs> I brought him from Disney him. World, lady. <laughs> fucking dirt bag. Uh, yeah. I yeah. Could, yeah, you I mean you take that accent, you put it like in Paris. Oh, it's yeah. my mom has it. It's tough when you yeah. like talk to your mom and she hits you with it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, I love it you. though. But it's the same. You know what it reminded me of when you said the name of that restaurant that you go with the in laws? I could see your mother in law yeah. ordering. Probably gets the th- same thing because we always say like his mom always I get the Marsala. Chicken yeah. Marsala. I'll get the chicken yeah. fronts. All the ants all get the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Because that's that's how they, they find one dish at a restaurant. That they like. Yeah. And they, they love it. I, go, oh, I don't even get anything else. I always get the Francais. Yeah, well, you know, every place that has like a strong accent like that, it, they're the same person it's in same a different person. place. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, nobody's like a Rhodes Scholar with that accent. No. <laughs> You're never going to no, find no. someone who. Maybe a good contract. Yeah, a good contract is as far as you can go. Yeah, that's the height of my family is yeah. that it was like you were a blue collar worker and you got maybe you started your own shop. Yeah. Yeah. That then fizzled out. But Th- they those out- accents don't come with books. No. no. But they what they come do with come with they come out if with they it. do, it's Angela's ashes and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I remember when that got popular. Oh, man. Every one of my aunt, that the fucking that uh, was on every nightstand. You yeah. had a nice John Grisham novel. Yeah, or uh, when you're younger, a couple of Tom Hardys. Oh, yeah, a couple yeah. of Tom Hardy books. The yeah. Da Vinci Code. Yeah, <laughs> I'm re I'm reading The Secret right now. Oh, that's black magic yeah. in my house. Yeah. Oprah. Get the fuck out. Da Vinci Code can kick rocks for Denise. <laughs> but I'll tell you what they fucking do come with. Worship. They might they might not be learned scholars, but they come with a dynamite fucking bacon egg and cheese Ooh, in the morning. Oh, yeah. A down. hell of a fucking cutlet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A nice meatloaf and a fucking load of laundry that smells like spring for the yeah. next six months. And they're all good people. Like, yeah. why go to Paris? Like, they're not miss. They, they, their attitude is like, everything good is here. Mm -hmm. And they're not wrong. And they're not wrong. Comfortable. And it's it's made me, doing the show so much, like, you're analyzing your your family, your childhood. There's something about the, the connection of the people is so real because, like, a lot of times they don't have a lot. So the relationships are what, like, yeah. they all have great personalities. Yeah. Everybody's very funny. It's very like you're just hanging. Everybody, sit. everybody was funny. Yeah. Everybody's funny. Yeah. Well, now, every, everybody I was like fucking the funny. The 80th funniest dude in my oh, family. Yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. dude, you sit back with my uncles. It's like you're. They would annihilate anybody. Ah, yeah. oh, my aunt Colleen would fucking bury me. <laughs> it's the thing, right? Because like happiness is the company you keep. A hundred percent. This society, and country, though, and like our culture, which it, it, it tries to in, 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 uh, entice us into thinking that getting things is what makes you happy, sure. but it's not. Mm -hmm. It's that that's a consumer mentality, and then you get one thing you're like I oh, now I'm I'm sick of it, and I want the other thing. Mm -hmm. But really, if you're with the right company, you could be in a fucking Wawa, Chilling, baby. eating sandwiches, and you're and you're in a good place. Yeah. Sure, that's it. You, know? sure. you could be in a Pizza Hut. As long as you're with your your friends, people you love, it doesn't matter where you are. Nah. As a kid, the yeah. Christmas parties were fucking the the the, the booze. Was on the washer and dryer downstairs. Yeah. Fucking the bar was laid out. Wait a second. What? Yeah, that's how we the, did you, it. You guys did, did turn the turn laundry the laun room into the bar? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Put that. Put down a nice Christmas um, tablecloth. Mm -hmm. Wow. Fucking you got the bottles, couple of two liters, fucking the double cherries, the whole nine yards. Yeah, the, the, the trashiness of that surprised me. Yeah. Really? Oh, I, yeah. oh, baby. Is that a usual thing? Oh, For dirt dude. bags and yeah. yeah. <laughs> down yeah. there. <laughs> Down there, fucking mixing drinks at fucking eight years old. Right on. I would have a tip cup out trying to trying to get a couple of. Beans. Oh yeah, right from the laundry room. Uncle Mike and Aunt Colleen's Christmas party, bro. Fucking the down basement, in the laundry the room. The basement was sort of the uh, the hang. Everyone was. Well, there was no, no, no. That, that that was just a bar. The, yeah. the 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 laundry room's about three feet across. Right. So you fucking go in there, you get your drink. And then you go back upstairs. Throw, throw a load of whites in. <laughs> so wait. <laughs> so wait. So the bar's in the basement. It's a self serve bar. Yeah. You got to walk down, get the drink, bring it back up. Why, yeah. Why not put it where the soirees happen? That's why we did it. Not a yeah. lot of room. That's how we did it. Not a lot of room. Uh. But that's what made it special. You know, we still yeah. talk about it to this day. Yeah. And we still do it. You know, yeah. it's crazy. Was it a nice tablecloth for you, or was it like a? Yeah, paper? It was always a nice tablecloth. Yeah. 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 Just that old school mentality. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you're gonna dress up the washer and dryer, go all the way. <laughs> do it. Yeah. I mean, Why don't, fucking half ass it? Yeah, don't half ass it. I mean, you know. When you're at when you're at the in laws, who who's doing the laundry? <laughs> she, my mother in law, does everything. She does. She does everything. That's fucking. She's awesome. amazing. When she, she comes over to your house, she's doing your stuff too. She, yeah, she does my underwear, and I, I, you just you get spoiled by it, and then like you just let her do it. Like Tim came over yesterday. Um, because he's out there on the island. Mm -hmm. On the island. So he came down and... Uh, Wait, Tim Dillon's hanging at your in-law's house? Yeah, he came over to the in-law's. That's Man, awesome. That's Long Island trash. Yeah, I love yeah. that. And then she just whipped up a Greek salad and some spanakopita. She I just did? like talking Long Island when I'm when I'm sure. when I bring it up because they have a strong accent. She oh, makes her own spanakopita. Well, she had, she bought it from the Greek store. Okay, but <laughs> she heated it up, put it out. She had a, she had a whole bunch of desserts. Desserts are huge in in my in laws' house. Okay, they put out a dessert tray. It's like you, you feel like there's twenty guys coming over. Mm -hmm. Like my wedding, there was a dessert room. It's it. People still talk about it to this day. I wish I was close with you guys then. I would have invited you to my little wedding. little baklava? I mean, it was a dessert room. What's the pudding one? It went, the it the was, glaca, whatever it's called? The, uh... Glaca something. It's like, pudding? it's almost like a, like a flan. Ekmek? Yeah. No, not yeah. Ekmek, but that's awesome, too. Oh, you know that, yeah. Woo! Greek desserts can be good. That sounds like Star Wars. The yeah. fucking <laughs> best. <laughs> the Greek corpse? Yeah. Oh, they, they do just say, like, sounds like, uh, yeah, bad guys in Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah, they, they, got a, they got a trashy accent out there. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they do. Sure. They don't leave the island. Yeah, yeah, They don't leave out there. Dude, my family is, my, my I think my mom's been in New York four times in her life. Yeah, and she's from ninety miles away. It's not that far. If no. I didn't have, if if we, if my family wasn't centered where they are, I would I would have been out on the island. 
on the island. It's just tough to get back to Philly percent. on the island. Yeah, the island's tough because you got to cross all... 19 fucking bridges it's, to get there. Yeah. Getting over there, getting over to Jersey Turnpike from fucking Queens, you want to fucking blow your brains yeah, out. Yeah, Long Island stuff. I think that's why they stay in Long Island because that traffic. You never leave. Yeah. It acts like another body of water. Yeah. I, w- <laughs> <laughs> I got to cross the water. I got to go across the water. I can't. Going into the city, that's the whole thing. I mean, my father in law. I've been with my wife now nine years. I think I've seen my father-in-law in Manhattan twice <laughs> sure. in nine years. Mm-hmm. And that was for his niece's wedding. Probably he back was, to back. He, yeah. was, he, was, he was bitching about something. Yeah, and he was in and out. Back to the They do not like to leave the comfort of Long I Island. like that, yeah. though. I they like that. There. Yeah. Like, Everything's Tim, there. You, 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 yeah, you, you, there's nothing that you don't have access to no. out there. But they do. Yeah, so they don't leave, and then they kind of... They they view reality through the lens of Fox News. Sure. So don't, that they that is picture the, of Megyn Kelly on the wall. <laughs> there oh no, there's a Jean Perino Judge Jean Perino book signed Who's right that? there on the kitchen table. Judge, she wasn't. What's she, her name? Judge Gina. She was a judge in Westchester. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know who that is. She's got her show. She's like popular. Judge Piro. Piro, I think. Yeah, her Judge name Piro. Is. Yeah. Oh yeah, sign. I remember she had some. To the Deshico family. To the oh, so, wait a minute. They got a headshot. They got, it's just signed book. Book. Come on. Oh, the book. When okay. you walk in, it's on the mantle. See, it's like a, you know. Uh huh. It's like, dude, when I was on Fox News, for my my father-in-law saw me on Fox News oh, that's it. recently. It was like a kid from Boston playing for the Red Sox. Yeah, that's they it. They were like. They couldn't believe it. You hear about Yanni? They were bragging to all their friends. They were telling everyone, turn it on. Mm-hmm. He's going to be on Godfield. You know, it's like, that's big. The dude. neighbors taped it. That's like being, that's like huge for yeah. Long Island. Yeah. Getting on Fox News. I don't think I was legit till he saw me on there. That show cooks, too. It does a lot of numbers. It does numbers, yeah. A lot of They're numbers. They're number one now. It's crazy. How crazy is that? Shout out. Do you think at some point, the big neck was like, maybe we're doing something. Maybe we're doing something. Wrong. I don't that, know. Like a small cable channel's doing it's bigger cool. numbers. Throw than- the right blinker on. <laughs> <laughs> exit to the right, gang. No oh, left exits. I think we're doing. It's, it's, you think Dude, it comes to the next episode? I'm dressed like Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know those meetings are like, and also we forgot about their rights and representation, and we, then we have to represent those people, and we also have to think about the climate and the sea and the and the oceans. And there's just one guy in the meeting going, "I don't think any of that's working." <laughs> <laughs> is there one guy going like, maybe we should just think about the show, pivot? Yeah, maybe we should take the 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 commercials <laughs> are really telling too. Yeah. It's William Devane telling you to buy gold yeah. and fucking salt guns. Uh-huh. <laughs> and that the, and you want both of them. And those jackets that have a like those tactical jackets that have a thousand pockets. Yeah, yeah they're all right. Shout out to my stepdad got one for yeah. Christmas. He yeah, used I, to keep an iPad in the side. Nice reverse mortgage. <laughs> Something you can sink your teeth in. Uh, it is well, crazy. We got to wrap it up. We haven't done any questions. Oh, do we want to do a couple of questions? We always have such a good time down here in Tunney's Tunney. It's fine. It's can fun. I get me a fucking coffee down here? Uh, let's do one or two. Yeah, 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 Yanni. It's like yeah. family. You're catching up. You know what I mean? Hit us. We forget we got business in hand. Yeah, sorry. Um, this one's from Tip Your Mailman. Uh, it says, uh, who has the AYG record for moving back in with their parents? How many times you ever moved back in? A lot. Yeah. I, I moved back in a lot, yeah. What's a lot? Two, so, three? after college, I moved back in. Okay. Okay, then I moved. Finished college. Finished college. Okay. Back in with the parents. Back in at the mom's house. Then moved out. Me and my buddy Jesse moved out. We got an apartment only a couple blocks away. Then moved the, back in with the parents. Oh, back to the Why'd house. you do that? Uh, what was the Crash reason? and burn? We were living in a rent control apartment that my friend grew up in, like a couple blocks away from where I go. we fixed it up. It was mm-hmm. real cheap. But it City was, caught up to you. They, the landlord caught up to us, kicked us out. Yeah, sure. Yeah, they caught up to us. So I moved back in. But also my mother was having Alzheimer's, so I was helping her out too mm-hmm. a little bit. Gotcha. Then I moved back out, went to Miami. Did the show in Miami Fusion. Sure. Uh, you know, lived in Miami for a year. Oh, you were, in, you were at your parents' Right before that. Right before that. Yeah, yeah, you were in the city. You were cooking. I was cooking and then moved to Miami, lived in Miami for a year, then came back. To the parents. Back into the mother's house. Ooh. Back into the house. Back into the house. That's the one that stings you. And then out to that Bay, the then Bay Ridge I, house. Then I bought the Bay Ridge apartment. I was in, oh, I that's was in there. that's a lot. So I think I moved back in four times. Fucking Yanni slingshots over here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yanni boomerangs always comes back home. Back home, yeah. Don't touch my room. <laughs> I might be back. <laughs> yeah, back Damn, in there. Damn, I yeah. think I have after college, uh, and then I moved out into a townhouse that my stepdad owned. I got kicked out of there. Went back to home, and then moved down 
to Philly when we were living together mm-hmm. and then moved back home be- right before I came back up here. But that was just a couple of months. That was a, that was, that was a handful of months. Three. Yeah. So yeah. You got three. I got three on me. I think we're tied. That's tied. Yeah. Wait, I got uh, three with tied. Mm-hmm. Flunked out of college sophomore year. Back at the house that summer, <laughs> going to community college. He's good. Get both hands ready, Johnny. <laughs> if we're doing this, let's do it right. Yeah, then the, way, the, the way that started, I'm not optimistic we're, <laughs> that we're going to win. <laughs> then in uh, then theater school for two years. Flunked out of that. Then back at my mom's. Then North <laughs> then moved to North Carolina. <laughs> Came back from that. I was I I, I had a residency a residency at the folks' place for a little that's while. That's three already, dude. That's three. We're not out of the nineties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all pre nine eleven. We're at ninety eight, dude. You still got New York on your belt. Up to up to New York with my brother in ninety nine. Uh, with him until about 06, and then on my own in Sunnyside, Queens. Nice run for, for two years. Nice the dark days. <laughs> um. Then back to I went to a pit stop at my buddy's house to, to dry out and clean up. <laughs> Fucking stayed there for a month. Back to my mom's for is. a That's couple four. of months. That's Djokovic's 24th yeah. Grand Slam right there. <laughs> <laughs> you got to speak. And then down to Philly with my boy. And then. That was it. Four. Four. Got, that's yeah. not, bad. not bad. You did I do was, a lot of hopping. Though. Yeah, I was expecting a higher number. That's pretty good. During the pandemic, I was down there like a tick, though. <laughs> the first part oh, of that, that was like a seminar on how to get educated, but not educated. Sure. He went to community college and then theater school. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Talk about going to school without going to school. Yeah, that's yeah. paperwork. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I made a living at it. Yeah, baby. I mean, that kind of cancels each other out. Ugh. Yeah. But we got to wrap it up, gang. <laughs> gang, uh, we love you, Yanni. We fucking love you to death, buddy. This is fun. It's, it's always, always uh, all, uh, we say it all the time. You're welcome back anytime. It's always good. Family, fucking, brother. Yeah. Family. Thank you. Always good. good to, I mean, this edition is. Thank you. This is classy. Thank gang. you. Yeah, yeah. Tody did it up nice for Place us. It smells like new rug, and I like that. Gang, you know him, you love him. Giannis Papas Hour, special mm-hmm. out on YouTube. Fucking get that over a milli, baby. Let's go on August 17th to Paramount Theater yeah. out on the island. Out on the, out on the Treat island. Treat yourself. Go see Yanni, one of the best in the biz. Anything else you want the folks out there to know? That's it. Just check the pod. Uh, and uh, my GiannisPapasComedy.com for tour dates. I, I'm, I'm on tour all year. So almost every weekend I'm somewhere. Check it out. See me in, see me in your town. Go see yeah. him, gang. Go see Yanni, yeah. gang. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, AreYouGarbage.com for all all of our live shows. Uh, shows are selling out. Get those tickies. Uh, we fucking love you. Thank you so much. Love you, gang. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.